Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a Windows 11 Fixer, a free portable app to apply some pretty basic tweaks to Windows 11. Simplifies the process. Check for the I up here as always, almost always. And there's a link there to get to our page or expand the video description to come to this page right here. Click download now or frankly click any of these. When you do, within seconds you'll have the zip file. Double click that zip file. Click on extract all. Click on extract and wait for it to finish. And once it's done, for some reason it's taking its sweet old time. Once it's done, you'll open the folder and double click Windows 11 Fixer. Click on yes at the user account control prompt. And there you have it. Nice interface, easy to navigate, broken into obvious categories with the blue lines. So it asks you to reboot on everything you don't always need to. So let me give you an example. Let's start with the taskbar. A lot of people don't like it in the center. Move it to the left. Then the next step, you have to click fix windows. So it's up to you whether you see all these changes you want to make or not. And then when you're ready, I would do one at a time to make sure. So let's go ahead, click fix windows. And there it is on the left. It says restart now. I click restart later. If it worked, I don't really see the point in restarting it. Size, this is kind of neat. Let's make it huge. Restart later. There's one. You didn't see any change. That means you have to restart. Or did I not do it right? Let me see. All right. So you notice it bounced back to no change. So I would assume that means you have to reboot for it to work. So here's your widgets button. I'm sorry. I actually got used to this. I got to put it back in the center. I get so used to it now. Widgets. You want to remove that. Just click on disable fix you see it's gone restart later let's see what else we got here chat button you can remove that 11 o'clock it'll tell you about it here I prefer that he had told you what it was right here a little bit but for those of you who don't know a customizable clock on your Windows 11 display I don't quite know why that's there but there it is as I said that gets some pros and cons we have other stuff that's not Windows 11 specific. For example, your context menu style, which is neat. So I don't know if you noticed or not. I don't like it. You have this and you have the show more options. I believe this requires a restart to registry change. Let me see. Fix. Restart later. I'm pretty sure it's going to require a restart. When you get done, it gets rid of the show more options garbage that somebody decided was a good idea. Take ownership context menu, control panel shortcut, which is very handy because some of the tutorials I've done, they really keep moving the control panel further and further away. So it's nice to just have a little shortcut there. I don't think that'll, yeah, it's, most of this stuff's going to require a registry change and a reboot or what I actually could do, I forgot. Let me do this real quick. Let me try and restart Explorer. How's that? And we'll see if it works. Let it refresh. There you go. That's your Windows 10. Notice how the show more option stuff is gone. So that's another option. I keep forgetting about that. You don't have to reboot. File Explorer, the compact view. Where it opens the location to. Nice little simple tweak. Once again, this stuff here is not in any way, shape, or form Windows 11 specific. Most of you who have played with computers recognize show hidden folders. Known file extensions, shortcut icons. Here's another one I don't quite get with the program. Install an internet browser. I don't know if he's just looking to fill in space in here. Allow Windows to search online. Widget service, Cortana, good privacy stuff. Not all Windows 11 specific, but still a good idea. Windows settings, suggested or nothing. Optional, same thing. I don't know that I would play with those unless you follow this link and check into it. Change to a dark or light theme for your whole system, application, or your system transparency. There's some recommended software down here. Once again, I got a bit of a problem with it. This is Windows 11. If you don't understand Windows 11, that is something you might want to look at. 
Power Toys is nothing like the Power Toys it used to be. I wouldn't even... It's on Major Geeks because of its reputation only. Currently, it remains in some sort of sad beta. And Start Menu Tweaks, these are both trials. I would wait to make sure that the more popular open source apps add support. So as you can see, the only problem I have with this is there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't really apply. I think maybe could do a little more Windows 11 stuff. Oh, I got the big buttons down here too after I restarted Explorer. But if the dev is listening, there's a lot of really great simple stuff in here for you to do. So if you're not into really getting into tweaking your machine, playing with your registry, you can apply anything you want, change it back. Really easy. But I would probably consider, if you're going to call it Windows 11 Fixer, that's just my personal belief. I might add a few more Windows 11 tweaks. We've got, we must have 50 of them already, 50 or 100 tutorials on how to do this stuff. And that's something I might consider. Installing your internet browser. Bleh. So there you have it. I, I, I get with the file and folder options. That's okay. Um, even though it's not Windows 11 specific, it's important. So basically what this app is going to do for you for free and portable, so there's no installation, is allow you to make some basic changes to Windows 11, mostly right here in this side right here. And that's going to cover a good majority of the stuff that maybe you got to Windows 11 and you're like, oh my God, what is this? Put this back to the left. You know what I mean? So there you have it. So Windows 11 Fixer is pretty cool just to take care of some basic stuff without having to go into settings, without having to tweak your registry. It's click, click, click. That's the way I want it. Close it. When you're done, there's a zip file. Bye. And there's the application. Make sure you have everything the way you want it. It takes up very little space, so you might want to keep that on your hard drive. 143 megs. Just in case you want to change something back, it's quick and easy to do in there. Otherwise, if you're sure, once again, delete it, and it was never on your system. And there you have it. That's how you can use Windows 11 Fixer to take care of some basic Windows 11 changes and hopefully get Windows 11 a little closer to the way you want it, which is a pretty big deal to most people. Woo. All right, bottom right-hand corner, you can click on subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. We always like to hear from you. And as you know, thanks for watching, as always. See ya.